Hello, my name is Jordan Hunter, GMP product manager at Hemacare, a Charles River company. Welcome to our presentation. Here we'll be talking about Hemacare's role in providing high quality cellular starting material to support the advancement of cell therapies. Hemacare has over four decades of experience sourcing and supplying human cellular material, providing a number of research use and GMP compliant products to support clinical phase manufacturing and development of allogeneic therapies. Our involvement providing starting material in 100% of FDA approved cell therapies through 2020 and work with our collaborators has provided us experience in the growing cell and gene therapy industry. And by providing high quality RUO and GMP compliant starting materials through apheresis collections, Hemacare is capable of supporting several facets of development from R&D through preclinical research to commercialization. Hemacare's presence in the US extends from coast to coast. We have collection facilities across five states to ensure a consistent and continuous supply of starting material a more robust, highly characterized donor pool, and same-day collection and processing. Our uniform processes across each facility result in consistent cellular material collections from donors, allowing us to provide product with the highest achievable purity and yield. The type of biomaterial collected from a donor becomes the source of Hemacare's human-derived cellular products. Peripheral blood, can be used to generate leukopath, PBMC, and isolated cells, whole blood, plasma, serum, and platelets. Mobilized peripheral blood can be a source of leukopath, stem cells, and PBMC. And bone marrow provide aspirate, mononuclear cells, stem cells, and plasma. Lastly, cord blood can be provided whole or stem cell isolated. Our specialized products include the NCG PBMC Select Humanization Kit, biopreservation medias, including cryostore and hypothermosol, disease state biofluids and tissue materials, including whole blood, PBMCs, plasma, serum, normal and tumor tissue, either stored frozen or fixed formalin paraffin embedded, as well as biofluids. And finally, we provide GMP compliant materials in the form of our GMP prime biologics, which include our leukopac and bone marrow aspirate. Hemacare's products and services are really designed to help our clients easily transition throughout the cell therapy discovery continuum. This starts by being the source supply of human derived cells. And during the discovery phase of cell therapy process development, Hemacare works with our clients to provide our research use starting materials based upon the client specifications. This enables target cell optimization, process design, and quality assurance during the process development and standardization stage of cell therapy. During clinical development, our clients have the ability to transition to our GM prime cellular materials for the process qualification, standardization, and prep needed. The use of our GM Prime products extends further into the stage of cell therapy manufacturing. This enables customers to seamlessly transition from the preclinical research stage to the phases of clinical development and skilled commercial manufacturing to support patient treatment. The growing cell and gene therapy industry is facing challenges as the need for starting materials supporting research and manufacturing increases. Therefore, it is important to anticipate the key areas of bioproduction demand to support the patients and clients exactly where the need exists. Autologous products are expected to dominate in early forecasts, with the need shifting towards more allogeneic products over time, with the clinical trial market expected to remain a relatively small fraction of the projected commercial production. With this large expected growth, addressing the starting material quality and supply chain will be imperative and effective donor management and access to large donor pool be a critical part of meeting this demand. With a large donor pool comes variation due to inherent differences between donors. And this inherent variability of starting materials is considered to be one of the most significant manufacturing challenges affecting cell therapy production. 
This source variability can result in process variability. And for reference, here we see a scatter plot that shows variation in white blood cell yields among donor collections from a previous year with an average yield of 12.7 billion white blood cells. And at Hemacare, we use standardized methods and collection processes to make sure that we minimize variability as much as possible. This translates to obtaining as consistent a product as possible for use downstream. As a trusted source and collaborator, we support cell and gene therapy industry needs from research and development all the way to commercialization. The capability to provide quality product and service to our customers is really a result of our thoroughly developed methods to ensure continuity and supply of high quality starting material. This starts at the very beginning, providing access to a diverse and well-characterized recallable network of donors through our donor management program. Here we follow FDA and AABB guidelines and establish donor eligibility criteria, making safety and monitoring the frequency of donations a priority. Collections from our donors become cellular products that are immediately processed on site, undergoing cell isolation or cryopreservation when needed. With GMP products following GMP compliant documentation and manufacturing procedures in a clean room environment. A scalable supply chain is designed to meet long-term commercial needs and is aided by a defined and qualified logistics partner to ensure shipment of stable product to our customers. All these elements combined provide a consistent and reliable starting material supply necessary for translating and advancing cell and gene therapies. Hemacare's established process of recruiting and nurturing reliable and recallable donors is an essential part of our ability to provide consistent, high quality starting material. It is important to have a well characterized, recallable, reliable donors to meet the needs of the industry and the patients. A vital part of this process is establishing the right relationship with the donor, as donors may need to visit the centers multiple times before and after collections for pre or post screening for clinical protocols. And our experienced recruitment team works diligently to identify and foster the appropriate donors the necessary criteria for the project. Because of the emphasis we've placed on donor management, we now have one of the most developed donor pools in the industry. Having a large number of reliable and recallable donors is an important part of our donor pool providing consistent, reliable access to well-characterized starting material for advanced therapies. A careful, recallable donor recruitment process truly highlights donors that have previously donated, are responsive, follow good nutrition, and are punctual and communicative. As can be viewed from the data here, consistency of collection in white blood cell yields exists from each individual donor in multiple collections. Minimizing intradonor variability of product from the same donor over subsequent collections. This consistency extends further into subcellular concentrations, such as CD3 positive cells, with significantly smaller intradonor variation among donors when compared to the percentages across a larger donor pool. Maintaining source material consistency is a commercialization challenge, but this can be mitigated with access to consistent processes and donors. Our ability to maintain dedicated donor pools offers a long-term solution to this challenge. Through this unique service, donors are assigned based upon project-specific criteria through a specialized recruitment process. And these collections may be used during discovery and development all the way through to manufacturing. So the combination of an ongoing donor recruitment and the maintenance cycle to recall, screen, and collect at intervals allows us to dedicate, fill, and replenish the pool of readily available donors when needed to mitigate delays in manufacturing and production of critical patient treatments. Donor management and consistent processes ensure robust starting material and handling of source material downstream is also subsequently important to maintain product stability. Here's where crowd preservation provides additional peace of mind. Crowd preservation simplifies complex logistics. Our ability to immediately process and crowd preserve material post collection extends the length of time that the product remains stable and reduces the risk of material degradation over time when compared to fresh products, which must be processed immediately. 
There are clear benefits when using fire preservation, for example. Donor and starting material management become simplified, greater assurance of product quality and viability, greater protection against unforeseen interruptions during shipments, even the ability to store and have immediate access to starting materials on hand for process development, which can then enable staff and project scheduling as determined by the client schedule. Supply allocation is also improved as the materials needed for processing can be more efficiently managed. Product preservation preserves the quality of the white blood cell viability of our GM Prime Luca Pack. And the average viability in the crowd preserved Luca Packs is 97.3%. But comparing to the average total WBC yield between fresh and crowd preserved Luca Packs, you see a difference of only 380 million cells, leading to an average post thaw recovery of 83%. Our GMP capabilities are integral to advancing cell therapies with GMP compliant biological products and services. And Hemacare state of the art GMP facility addresses increasing demand for high quality cellular starting materials. And the design of this facility enables seamless transition from donor recruitment to collection to biomaterial processing, storage, and transport of cell therapy starting materials. To ensure researchers can seamlessly transition from R&D to commercialization for cell and gene therapies, we offer both research use and GMP products. Both are collected and processed following the same standardized methods and procedures. And shown here is an example of our Luca pack, which uses the same vessel, fill volume, cryopreservation, preservation, and cell count to ensure consistency between RUO and GMP. Additionally, each unit of GMP or GM prime products produced includes additional quality oversight and QA review documentation. The processes of acquiring source material and therapy production is a multi-step process, and cell therapy manufacturing phase can experience bottlenecks during the processing of raw cellular material prior to patient administration. Implementing Hemacare's established and scalable production process into cell and gene therapy development truly prevents downstream bottlenecks by providing more consistency and higher quality starting material. Cell supply is the central point that leads almost every aspect of the discovery, process development, and commercialization phases throughout the cell therapy discovery continuum. Now, for this reason, it's important to consider a strong partner that can effectively manage a large and diverse donor pool that has the capabilities for same day on site collection, crowd preservation, and cellular processing at multiple locations as well as having optimized and standardized processes that are GMP compliant to ensure seamless transitions from research use to commercialization, ensuring the success of the cell therapy starting at the discovery and ending with the patient. This completes our presentation. Thank you for listening. On behalf of everyone at Hemacare and Charles River, we look forward to your continued success. Thank you.